We are hopping in and we are going to be learning how to win a game of Warzone 2. Your first one, if you've never won, this is going to be it for you. When I go into the game, I want to look for some sort of gas station. Okay, there's a gas station over on this side right here. Anytime you see one of those, it's a gas station. Contracts are a big deal. Contracts are a huge deal, specifically safe crackers, because they give you loads of money. And then we're going to focus on Intel's. I'll walk you through it. I know it's a lot to take in right now, but that's kind of the gist of where we're going to start. So I'm actually going to land right here just to make sure that we're good. I'm checking around me. Sliding off. All right, here we go. Should be able to get a little bit of cash out of this. They usually have quite a bit and it's just kind of a good start every single time you want to you want to hop into a game. Just look for one of these. It is super easy. I am being hunted. Somebody's got a bounty on me. So we're going to have to be aware of what's going on around us. Always check these. You can have some sort of uh, self revive or a self revive pistol. And now I'm going to go across. We're going to check that gas station. And then we want to go for this safe cracker because that's how we're going to get money. I've almost got enough for a loadout already, which is unheard of, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, we already have enough for a loadout. So a loadout's going to be $8,000. Easy peasy. We've already hit it. We can loot up on the way. Inflatable decoys are sometimes pretty fun. But I think we're pretty good sitting on a attack V, if I'm not wrong, or attack 56. Attack 56 is a decent assault rifle. And here's the deal. I'm going to do this. Ooh. With no loadout. I'm going to show you how to get loadout, but I'm going to do it without my loadout. And the reason why is I think that it's probably a good idea for you guys to see that you don't need to have your own guns. Everybody always fusses, oh, you're doing it with weapons that I don't have. You don't need them. Once you eliminate an enemy, someone's going to have their guns. So just loot it up off of their body. So let's go ahead and mark the safe cracker. We'll see that it's right around the corner here. I've got enough already, but I'm going to hit this safe cracker. We've got a vehicle over here. You can hear another vehicle coming through. It's the UTV. The UTV on the map is this right here. You heard that it was loud, which means someone's there. My bounty got uh, a little bit higher, which means it's probably... Oh. I thought it was going to be the bounty, but the bounty just died. So what I'm going to try and do is just go for this vehicle right here. We really don't want to mess with this guy, okay? Not super interested in a fight right here. Your goal is to win, not get a ton of kills. If you want to see a video on how to get more kills in the game, then absolutely. I always just tend to honk at people so that they know maybe like I'm friendly or something like that. Look at that. I think that guy might be cheating. I swear to God, that guy was cheating. He tried to shoot me through the wall that whole time. What the heck? That was very odd. I'm not going to report him or anything because I'm not 100% sure. And that's kind of how you need to look at it. But <clears throat> just now, you know, cheaters are still in this game. Either way, we're going to go ahead and try and get this done. And listen, you're going to run into gunfights. If you want a video specifically on gunfights, we can do that. I'm kind of trying to work on giving you the formula. Okay. So you want to get as much cash as you can. That's your first thing. Next, you're going to play for Intel contracts. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to show you the next circle. And then you can just play positioning to get ahead of your enemies and be able to get that final circle right where you need it. So I'm not really, oh, I was going to say, I'm not really seeing an Intel contract. And then I realized when you have another contract on, you can't see the other contracts. They fixed that in Warzone 1, but it's back to just so many problems with this game that like we're fixing the last one, which is so weird. So I'm looking for an Intel contract. That's our closest one. I, think I just saw a sniper over there. So we're going to fly this direction. We're going to grab this. And by the time we get it done, we should be on the next circle. And it's going to push us to showing like the, the one after that. So grab the Intel. You can see the Intel contract is going to end up somewhere on the map nearby. You're going to go over there and you're going to grab the intel out of a, it's basically out of a laptop. Once we grab the intel, it's going to send us to a nearby tower. If I had to take a guess, it's going to be a tower like that. I don't think there's a tower over here. Probably going to send us back over there, which kind of sucks. <clears throat> but once you get close to the intel, it's going to pop up on the map. If you get close to a building, and it doesn't pop up. It's not in that building. It's in the next building. 
and it tends to try to stick to like the edge so like right here i'm getting close to this building it didn't pop up it popped up on the other one so we can easily go in this building we're good to go once you get in you're gonna grab the laptop hard drive hard drive Ooh, that's no boy now hear the car we're not trying to fight this guy so we're gonna we're gonna dodge it i'm gonna lay down here again not trying to fight the guy oh we're gonna have to fight the guy aren't we He should drive away because I cracked his armor. Not ideal. Want to be clear. Not ideal. Not something I usually like doing. So I'm going to blow up his car and make him back up at the same time because I'm going to drop a mortar strike on him. I can't get up this hill. Okay. Interesting place. Got one shot on. Is that a real person? I think that's a real person. Yeah, he just dove out. So he just got shot out of the sky, but I think some dude's going to push for his loot. Lord have mercy. So you can see this guy had some stuff on his body. I can grab the STB. He also had a Fennec and we're good to go. See, you don't need any fancy loot. You just have to outplay your enemies like one time. That is all that it takes. So I've got a pretty good amount of ammo. I got a pretty good amount of plates. I didn't even grab my loadout. You're more than welcome to grab your loadout. All you got to do is go to a buy. You can buy it for $8,000. It goes up depending on the mode that you're playing. Now, whenever I do these Intel contracts, what I like to do is sit on the inside. It's a lot faster in souls than it is in duos, trios, and quads. And I like to get right inside right here because it gives me the most amount of cover. This guy's guns are not bad. And see, it's already done. And you'll see it shows the next circle. Once you know that next circle, you can work your way to the next Intel contract. Now, you don't have to continue doing Intel contracts. If anything, you can kind of just wait until it's close to the end of the game and figure out, you know, the final circle once you grab an Intel contract near the end of the game. But I just like doing it early because it kind of gives me something to do. You don't have to focus on as many kills if you're just going for a win. If you want to get more kills, there's always options to do that, like grabbing bounties and just rushing everyone. But that's not exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to grab this. We're going to end up going back over here to grab another one. And it's probably going to send us to the same place. And you can see, big circle here. We're not going to be able to get any more intel contracts, I don't think. Just based on the amount of time that we have left on this. So we can grab that. And it's going to take us right back up top where we were before. So I know it's a lot of running. It, you know, when you do it this way, it's the running simulator. But if you are someone that cannot get a win, this is your best bet. Use somebody else's guns. Don't focus up and being like, oh, I don't have the loadout. Doesn't matter. What I actually might do is leave the upload just sitting there, which I guess sits on my screen now. And wait for the next circle to hit. Because we can just wait a little bit of extra time. Now the question is, would it be a good idea? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I can't see this guy. Okay, got it. Understood. I'm not going to let it finish. I'm going to get close. And we're going to run. So we have two minutes, 29 seconds, which will give us 30 seconds to get over there and literally finish up the smallest bit. And we just vibe out, figure out where the next circle is super easy. Makes life very simple. We're just looking around for this guy. Now I'm standing out in the open. I don't recommend this for you guys. If you don't have the skill, don't do it. Just camp it out. It's not a big deal. You can literally just camp it out. I'm just trying to make sure that I know where this guy is. And he's literally just still sitting there. And we can vibe out right here. That's what I'm going to do for the next minute and a half. All right, circle is officially closing. And once it hits, we'll see the next circle. And then we finish this and it'll show us one more circle. At oh, that guy, just the worst luck. Just the worst luck, man. That sucks. 
I have a better AR. He had a sniper. Ooh, yucky, yucky, yucky. All right, so we can see the circle's gonna end over here, but we wanna kinda keep the high ground. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work my way over here. There's actually a buy station in this building. It might have a UAV, a UAV. God, the Finnick is so disgusting. UAV, pop it. So we see a guy's over on top of the building over here. What I'm going to do is there should be a ladder right here. Now he's over there on the right. I'll probably catch him off guard if I play this right. Easy kill. So now we're just vibing. That UAV helped. It gave us basically two kills. I've now got six kills in the match, which is great. Doesn't really matter. I want to be clear. All, all that matters is you get one kill, you know? But I've officially held onto a riot shield because I have a, you know, I have a backpack. So when you have a backpack, you can switch weapons into your backpack to hold on to, especially if you're playing, you know, like a team-based game and your teammate needs a gun. It tends to be very helpful in that situation. You see the guy over there? Oh, these are bots. These are bots. So now I'm just trying to... Oh, you see the helicopter up there? I think that's a... Uh, yep, that's the guy right there. We don't really want to fight anything. We've got plenty of time before we need to go in. My goal is to get to that building right there. So again, we have plenty of time. It looks like a bunch of these dudes are still coming in for some reason. I, I, I don't understand it. But it's a late game now. 20 players remaining. We know that there was a guy over there because we saw him earlier. Now it's just playing positioning, okay? Now, if you've ever watched Iceman Isaac, he he had this video a long time ago called the, uh, something about the pinwheel rotation. And what that is, is it's basically telling you to rotate the edge as you go in to maximize your kills and, you know, be able to hit a, a good spot on the map. You know, get a good rotation. That doesn't matter. I'm going to be honest. In this game, it, it's cool. You can use it. Doesn't matter. Makes zero difference. And the reason why is everyone knows about it. You need to run straight in 99% of scenarios. Because if you don't, you will get caught with your pants down and someone will be tinkling all over the win that you thought you were about to get. So don't do that. Just wait until you need to move in and move in. That's, that's just about it. And I'm not saying you should wait until the last second because that's not good either. But just go to places where you know positioning is good. Try to keep high ground. And in this scenario, you can see there's a guy over there that I don't really want to fight because he has the high ground. It's also lagging, which is sick. That guy's going to move because he's got to. So he's right there. He's getting ahead of me. He's on the rock. I think he knows that I'm here. And he has a better position than I do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to equip that. And I'm going to push him a little bit with the riot shield out. Because if I can get up close, I have flashbangs. Which are going to be massive. So the only issue is that I'm not watching my sides. He can't shoot me because I have the riot shield. We're going to switch out. Now, we're kind of in a bit of a pickle here. I'll be honest. Need to get a reload. Also need to play it up. And now I need to play that high ground up on the left, okay? I have one stun. Which is basically my only chance to get an elimination here. I am playing like the sissy route. I get it. A lot of people are going to be upset, but this is kind of the worst situation to be in. Oh, he quit the game. I'd quit the game too, honest to God. Now there's three players left. We're kind of just playing positioning. We want the high ground. We have two stuns. Two people other than me. One's on the left-hand side.
We're going to pull out our AR. I'm going to get up top here. This guy's going to be rotating to the left. One dead. We're waiting for this other guy. I'm going to plate up in this bush right here. Play the close range gun. We still have the riot shield. I don't know where this guy's at. He's flashbang. Easy kill. I mean, that's pretty much it. You you just kind of play positioning at the end there. And that's uh, that's GG. So I'm going to give this guy the win. Just because I, I don't want to, like... I don't, I don't want to win. I just... It's just kind of showing you guys that I can win. Oh. Bro, I... Kill me! <laughs> okay, I guess I'm winning. God dang it. <laughs>